Am I the only one using a lightsaber during the battle? Because everyone is using a blaster and I don't have a blaster. Why don't you give me your love? Rogue One and Star Wars Story is basically the prequel to the Star Wars trilogy and takes place before Episode 4 was created and this movie is directed by Garrett Edwards. In this story, Jin Arso is basically a rebellion as they work with their friends to take over the Empire to steal the Death Star plan which is being held by the evil Empire General Krennic which is basically this guy with the white cape. Yeah, because he has the blueprint. That's basically what I can say about the plot. Now, as in the beginning of the story, it is basically like a Star Wars movie, but instead without of the credits that we used to see in every Star Wars movie, this time we just get into a flashback scene, you know, when Jin Arso was young, just like in the second trailer, and then as the, we get to the middle of the scene, you know, there are lots of scenes. And to be honest, I don't want to spoil much about this movie, but this movie is basically like Avengers meets Suicide Squad. But, you know, I, I, I just can't talk much about the... Story, so let's get into the characters. Felicity Jones plays as Jin Arso, which when I see this character for the first time, she reminded me of Candace Everdeen, which she is not Candace Everdeen, but she's basically um, her father. Which her father, I forgot his name, but it's kind of like it's connected to the rebellion. So basically, she tries to connect with his father while she joins the rebellion, and she's basically kind of like a smart uh, girl as she tries to take on the empire, you know, trying to steal the Death Star plants, and then they start to think, how are we going to take the rebellion? We're supposed to be like this and that, yeah. So he works with, uh, she works with this um, man played by Diego Luna, which is basically Cassian. I can't talk much about Cassian. Cassian's not really my favorite. I mean, he's an okay character to me. I mean, he's like, okay, I'm gonna join whatever you do, whatever you do and that. And basically, yeah, he's a normal character. I mean, to be honest, there's no love story in this. I have to say, it's not a love story. And the reason why I'm very excited about watching this movie is basically Don Yen's character. And he plays as this blind guy named Chikor Imwe, I guess. That's how he spells his name right here, Imwe. He's basically the blind guy. And he's actually kind of like a peaceful person where, you know, he keeps on talking quotes all the time. And he's basically like a blind person. He has a staff. And the great part about him is his kung fu, you know, when he uses staff to fight each other. And yeah, he's really a nice person. I mean, I like this character. His character is also funny, by the way. And also there's this droid named K2SO, which is played by Antwi. So he's basically some kind of like a commander droid. Yeah, he's basically this black tall droid, but he's a little bit funny as well. And I kind of like this character a little. Basically, I just realized that Force with Tuck with Tucker is in this movie and who is his role in this character? He plays as Saw Gera. Now I don't want to talk much about Saw Gera because I have nothing about Saw Gera because Saw Gera is kind of like everybody wants to make an agreement with, with him but Saw Gera is kind of like this guy who you know makes a disagreement like he could trust them and yeah Saw Gera was like he's, he had a different voice and then he had to use his mask on I don't know for no reason because his legs are robotic we can't see that in the trailer and there's some scenes from the trailer that actually had to be cut for him so that's kind of shame now i'll talk about general credit general credit is the villain the main villain in the rogue one movie and i find him a little bit serious i find him a little bit hilarious sometimes i mean he's just kind of uh he tries to be a good villain basically but sometimes how he talks is kind of like yeah, he's sometimes a little bit humorous, like, you know, he tries to be a good villain, basically. Now, about Darth Vader, I am not gonna talk about Darth Vader here. Not much about Darth Vader, we don't get much about him. But, yeah, we will see you later on. I mean, I'm putting on this Darth Vader shirt, if you're noticing. Now, I wanna talk about the classic scenes. There are lots of classic scenes in this. There are some classic scenes in this uh, movie, which makes it very accurate before episode 4. And I also like, there were some characters, which I cannot tell you, they appear, you know Darth Vader's in this uh, movie as well. But there are some characters that will blow your mind, probably at the end. To be honest, I watched this movie in IMAX 3D, and once I finished watching the movie, everyone just applause. It was a big applause. It was very awesome that the Star Wars fans really enjoy. You're gonna love uh, watching Rogue One, by the way. I also love the score for this movie, which is basically Michael Gaetz, you know, I know John Williams originally scored the Star Wars movie, but Michael Gaetje this time takes on Rogue One. And the reason why I love Michael Gaetje's score is that his score tries to be good, he tries to make a hilarious scene, and it tries to catch the scene perfectly, which is something I like about Michael Gaetje, no, which is the same thing to Rogue One, because in this Rogue One, there's one scene that was hilarious, there's one scene that was epic, and then there's one scene that's trying to be dramatic. 
and the score was actually beautiful. I enjoyed the score. I'm very thankful about Michael Gadge, you know. Plus, he also scored my favorite movie, which that's the poster over there. Good luck guessing with the movie. And yeah, I got nothing else about to say Rogue One. I don't want to say Rogue One is an okay movie, but Rogue One, the Star Wars story, is one of the most memorable Star Wars movies in history. Yes, Rogue One was kind of a good movie. It was awesome. I mean, in the beginning, honestly, I was okay with this movie. But no, this movie was great. This had everything that I love seeing in Rogue One. So yeah, that was my review on Rogue One, Star Wars story. Sorry, this movie review was very late because, you know, I was kind of a little bit procrastinating and I don't know how I'm going to memorize my words. But if we're going to see this movie, I suggest seeing this in IMAX 3D. It's a good choice. And I think I might take my friend to see Assassin's Creed. But yeah, that's what I was thinking about reviewing Assassin's Creed. If I can take my friend to see Assassin's Creed, then it's a good choice that I'll review Assassin's Creed. But if I'm going to see Rogue One and I think I can't review Assassin's Creed, I'm going to have to wait till DVD shows up. But that was my review on Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Tell me in the comments if you've seen the movie. And tell me if you're going to see the movie. If you have seen the movie, tell me what did you think in the comments below. So that was my review on Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Here's the outro. That is all for this video. If you do enjoy this video, give it a like. That would be very helpful. And in the description, you'll find two links where you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Google+. I appreciate you guys for watching this. And I'll see you another time. Bye-bye.